We're in New Brunswick, our fourth stop on the road to 150, and we're so excited to see what makes this province special. We have planned very cool adventures in this province, such as rappelling, zip lining, and kayaking. But I'm also very excited to learn more about the history and discover the amazing views that this province has to offer. Our first day was awesome. We went rappelling and zip lining at Cape and Ridge. This is a place where you can have a full day of fun activities and enjoy amazing and beautiful views of the Bay of Fundy. First, I was a little bit nervous to rappel down the 142 foot cliff, but by the second and third time, I even tried some tricks and raised Matthew and Justin to the bottom. I want to do it again. <gasps> that my favorite activity of the day was the zip line. I guess I just like the feeling of freedom and that I can fly. I like it so much that I went zip lining again over a canyon in Grand Falls. I even got to try a different style called the Superman, where I lie down on my stomach, which makes you go faster. Then we went to Hopewell Rocks, a place where you can truly experience the highest tides in the world, where you can walk on the ocean floor and walk on there and besides these big rocks along the beach. During high tide, however, we got the chance to go kayak around the very same place that we walked just a few hours earlier. One of the coolest parts about kayaking around Hopewell Rocks was getting into all the little nooks and crannies and the little sea caves and seeing the light come in from different angles and it really felt like such an adventure. Being able to walk on the ocean floor and then kayak in the same place allowed us to admire the rock formations in a totally different way. This unique experience is not found anywhere else in the world. rock that's formed these formations is really uh, the product of erosion over 300 plus million years and the giant tides as we know them here in the Bay of Fundy really didn't start until about 6,000 years ago. So the real carving and sculpting of these uh, formations has resulted in them becoming so-called flower pot rocks is a result of that erosion that's taken place over the uh, 6,000 years. Continuing our journey, we couldn't miss our favorite picturesque towns. So we stopped at San Andreas. One of the things to do in San Andreas is to visit this blockhouse, a national historic site where you can really experience the life in the barracks when the town needed to be protected against the Americans in the War of 1812. One of the things I love about travel is learning new things. In Fredericton, we learned so much about New Brunswick, but we also learned that Fredericton is the birthplace of the Canadian military. Just by chance, during our time in Fredericton, we happened to catch a ceremony of a change in commanding officer for the 2nd Battalion of the Royal Canadian Regiment. We got to see all kinds of military equipment. We even got to go inside a lav. Then we got to see the parade where all the soldiers marched down the street in formation into Officer Square, where they got to welcome in their new commanding officer. Being there really put it into perspective how much sacrifice and dedication these soldiers have given to our nation. Another surprise was finding out about a place called King's Landing. This incredible place gives you the experience of going back in time to the 1800s, where you get to see how people lived. Actors portray the lives of various villagers, complete with local artisans, historical buildings, and livestock. One of my favorite parts was visiting the local blacksmith, who showed us how to make a nail using the techniques from the 1800s. It was really cool to see him soften the metal in the fire, and then hammer it into the shape that he wanted, and then cool it off in the bucket of water.
We loved meeting all the different villagers and going inside the general store to see how they used to shop back in the day. And Carl even got to help a woman with the laundry. We got to pet some horses and it really is a unique place if you really want to feel like what it was like back in the 1800s. I really enjoyed my time in New Brunswick. We got a little bit of everything. Adventure, nature, beautiful views, and of course, interesting history. New Brunswick surprised me in so many ways. Whether you're kayaking Hopewell Rocks, rappelling down Cape and Rage, ziplining over Grand Falls, or admiring the views from Fundy National Park, there's no shortage of adventurous activities or places to get into nature. Thank you so much for watching this New Brunswick episode. We're very happy to share our love for Canada with you. To learn more about the best of Canada from coast to coast to coast, or to watch our other episodes from the Road to 150, head on over to mustdocanada.com.